All right, thanks for watching today. Again, my name is Spencer. If you've seen our other videos about Sonos and Caseda and other fun products, today we're gonna to talk about how to eliminate Wi-Fi dead spots in our homes. So this product that we have here today is called Eero. It's been around for over a year now and it is designed to create a mesh network in your house to eliminate dead spots so you can get Wi-Fi in all corners of your home. And the system that we have here is a three pack. So we actually have three access points that we can put throughout our house to make sure those dead spots are eliminated once and for all. Today we're going to set up the system so you can see how easy it is to set up and then you can put one in your home. All right, well let's get started. Let's open it up and get eliminate those dead spots. So everything's easy to set up and they include everything you need in the box. So we have our three Eros right here and we're going to go ahead and just start with the one that says start on it. So I'm going to get that one out. If you don't, haven't downloaded the app, just remind you to download the app on your Android or iPhone. You have an Ethernet cable included in the box, so cables are included. And this is what you'll need to connect to your internet service provider's modem uh, box. And then a power supply. So each of our Eros will have a power supply underneath them. But for today, we're just going to get started with this first one. So I'm going to set that to the side. And I have already wired a power supply because our power goes way behind our counter. So I'm going to set this to the side for now. I'm just going to plug it in. So it's very simple. You just have a couple ports. You got power and two ethernet. You can plug into either one. It doesn't matter. And then the second one can be used to plug in another device or a networking hub or switch. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in to power. And then I already have an ethernet cable run down to our router, to our modem. Um, depends on your setup and we'll talk about that at the end. But this is already connected to my modem, so I can just go ahead and plug it in. And then their USB port currently is not in use, but that may um, be included with some functionality in future updates. So we'll go ahead and let that turn on. The white light is flashing. I'm going to grab my iPhone. Okay, so now that we have it plugged in, we're going to go ahead and get started downloading the app on our iPhone. And I've already downloaded it, as you can see on my screen. But if you, don't, if you haven't downloaded it yet, just go to your app store and search for the word Eero. And we'll just do a search. And it'll be the first one that shows up. And then you can download it for free. I already have it, so I'm gonna just tap on open so it opens up. Okay, now that we have the Eero app installed, it's important to remember that the first time you open up the Eero app, if you've never set up an Eero before or played with the app, it's going to prompt you to create an account. So we can go ahead and tap on set up Eero. And it's gonna ask us for three simple things. Our name, our, a mobile phone number, and an email address. And it's important to know why they need them phone number. So if you just tap on the little eye on there, it'll tell you why they need it. And it is for setup. They will send a text message verification just to verify your account and just added layer of security uh, for you. And they say uh, they won't be texting you late at night according to this message. So, and that's a promise. So we should be in good shape. So once you create your account, then you'll be able to continue on with the setup. And we're going to get started. So I'm just going to tap on get started. And it's going to describe everything we need to get started. We already know that we need our modem, which we just talked about earlier, the power cord, Ethernet cable, and the first Eero. So we're going to do that. And it's going to walk us through setting it up, connecting it, and everything like that. We've already plugged everything in, so we're good to go. I'm going to tap on Next. And we're going to wait once we see that blue light flashing, just like it shows us in the picture. And we can see on our Eero that the blue light is flashing as well. We can peel that sticker off if you want to see that better. And we're going to hit Next. And so now it's going to start looking for my Eero. So now it's sending out signals to try and find my Eero. And this can take, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. So we just want to be patient. Sometimes it goes a lot faster, like it did just now. So that's always nice. But give it some time if needed. So now we're going to name it. So it's good to name it based on the room of the house that it's located in. And you can pick um, any of these names or do a custom. I'm going to just pick, it's going to be my living room Eero. And you can see this can take a minute. So now it's configuring, it's, it's pairing this Eero to my, um, my app, my phone. And it is time to create our network. So it's gonna walk us through. So instead of having this uh, gibberish for your network name given to you by your internet service provider, we can make it whatever we want. So I'm just gonna name mine Eero. And I can set my password and don't tell anyone my password. It's really secure, and I will change it when we're done. 
So it's gonna create that with my own password and my network name. So that way I don't have to wonder what my password is or remember this password that is impossible to remember. Uh, the nice thing about, while we're, while we're waiting for it to set up, the nice thing about the Eero app is I can change my password anytime, I can look up my password anytime, and I can even send it in an email or a text message to somebody else if I wanna share my password with a trusted friend or family member. Um, so it looks like it's ready, it's all set up, we have success. So let's tap on next. And uh, for right now, I'm gonna hit I'm all set, and we're gonna set up a second Eero in just a minute. And so it does give you this disclaimer that it does take about 24 hours of use for it to adjust, especially when you have more than one Eero. So you may have uh, a little bit lower performance than you would expect for the first day or so, but it will improve after that. So just make sure you read that message when you're done. So now we can see that we have one Eero on our system and we're in the living room. So you can see that there's an update. And so we'll go ahead and get that update going. And while we're waiting for that update, we're gonna set up another Eero uh, as our second access point in the house. And we'll be back. All right, so our network is updated. It's successfully updated. It took about five or so minutes. So when you do updates, just be ready for a few minute wait when you don't need the internet for a few moments. Um, then we'll hit done. So now let's go ahead and add our second Eero. So we got this one set up. The blue light is flashing, which tells us it's not been set up yet, or the one we already set up has a, a white light. So this one is where we put anywhere in our house. Uh, it does not plug into the network. So if you don't have wiring throughout your house, this is why you want Eero, because you don't have to run wires in your attics and walls and, and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the menu bar, and I can see all my network information. And I'm going to tap on Add Eero, and it just reminds us we need a power cord in the Eero. We've already done that. And you can also, you want to, it helps you with placement ideas. You want to keep them with about 40 feet of each other, but you can add as many as you want. So if three isn't enough for your home, you can add a fourth or fifth one. And just kind of goes through your placement tips. For today, we're obviously going to just have it right next to each other. So I have it plugged in. The light is blue, I already showed you that. And so we're gonna look for it again. This can take anywhere from a couple seconds up to 30 seconds, maybe a minute, uh, but usually a lot faster than that. So it's looking for our next year. It found it. And so now we can just tap on next. Now we can give it a name. So I'm just gonna say, you know what, that one is in. So let's go ahead and name that kitchen. And it's gonna set it up. And again, this will take up to a minute, but it should usually go a little bit faster than that. And so let's go ahead and tap on next. And let's just say I'm all set. So now we have an Eero that has two systems set up. And because we did that update on our first one, it's gonna update the second one. But once we're up and running with the second one, we'll be good to go. So we'll go ahead and let this one get updated as well. So now we're up to date. Uh, both our Eros are up to date, ready to go. So now we can see that we have two Eros in our uh, home system and you can add a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, as many as you need to cover your home. Uh, and you know, it, it lets us show our connect devices, it even gives a speed test. Uh, it does a lot of great things within the app. And one of the things that we really like about the Eero system is that it automatically can give us updates. So we don't have to worry about updates. And these updates include new features along with security updates. So that way we're always having a system that is updated with the latest security. And if there's new threats affecting networking and stuff that we can be updated with that as Eero pushes out those updates, just like you saw in here, it automatically prompted me to do the update. And we'll do another video to show a little bit more about the app. Uh, but today we just want to show you how to get set up and started. So that's how you do it. And we hope you enjoy. I hope we can eliminate some dead spots in your home.